Jen and welcome to my studio and today we're going to be doing an intermediate slash advanced uh, I would actually lean more toward advanced but depending on the tempo you do that at an intermediate could work as well and also depending on what intermediate and advanced means to you um, tutorial to paint it black by is it the Rolling Stones right right yes okay sorry I had to triple check because like the last version I heard of it was by Sierra, and then before that it was by a punk band, so like I forgot which classic rock group it was. Please, please do not at me. I'm sorry if I if you're like the classic rock fan and you're like, how dare you? I'm oh, sorry. No, um, it's Painted Black by the Rolling Stones. I decided to do this as part of my Halloween themed tutorials because it was so um, like largely featured in Wednesday, the TV show, so I don't know if you guys have heard the version from Wednesday. It is phenomenal so definitely check that out and it's like a it's a fun one to do if you teach adult classes during spooky season so like this is a super super fun one that I'm excited to bring to my adult students because I think they're going to like love it and it's not cheesy Halloween it's like classic rock Halloween you know the cheesy Halloween is good too like don't get me wrong we love it but it's also nice to have some like low-key Halloween all right, anyway, so intermediate slash advanced. Let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a hopefully normal length, potentially slightly short and sweet. It depends on how my knee feels today. I'm allowed to dance a little longer than I was before, um, but not too much longer. So I guess we'll see how long this tutorial goes. And yeah, just be flexible. We're good. <laughs> if you haven't been on this channel very long, you don't know I, I'm dealing with a knee injury, but I was cleared to dance for small amounts of time, and I'm so happy to be spending that time making tutorials for y'all. So, also, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, do the thing. All right, so it starts with, and it's very fast, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight and. So we're doing the da 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 of the guitar. And this is a guitar version, so you'll really be able to hear it, but the, it's the da 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 you know, like how it like climbs, da 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 one and two and three and four and five. So that's what we're playing with today. So it's a little fast. You have paradiddle, step heel, step heel. So you have a paradiddle on the right, step heel, step heel, left, right. Five count riff, nice and even. One, two, three, four, five. It's not one in two, it's not swung at all, it's one, two, three, four, five. So keep that weight really, really centered on this foot. So let's try that together. Five, six, seven, eight. We have Good. From there, you have heel, heel, toe, toe, crawl. So that's right away. Okay, so let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight. We have one and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight and one. Two more paradiddles. And two and three and four and five. Dig, dig, toe, toe, chug, chug. And six and seven, eight. So that last part is two paradiddles. Dig, dig, toe, toe, chug, chug. So your feet are going dig, dig, toe, toe, chug, chug. So that whole part together is paradiddle, circle, circle, one, two, three, four, five, heel, heel, toe, 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 paradiddle, paradiddle, dig, dig, toe, 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 toe. It just straight through. It never pauses. It never breathes. It never commas. Just one and two and three and four and. Okay, let's try it. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. The only pause you're gonna get is the and of eight, because it goes and eight, and you don't do anything on and. Let's try it one more time, and we'll try it with music. So we have five, six, seven, eight. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. Good. All right, let's try that with music and see how it goes. I'll count you in. It starts on the second line of the first verse. Again, this time we're just gonna we're just gonna 
to turn the volume up and also get a little bit more comfortable with the tempo because I know it's a little weird. This is a live guitar cover, so the tempo may be a little fluctuaty. It may fluctuate a little, um, but it would fit the original perfectly. Um, so we'll just, just try to get used to this tempo. But for filming purposes, last time before we move on. We have, we just did N6 and 7. Your right foot's free. You're going to do a sort of a Cincinnati, but it starts on the step. So it's going to go step, step, fill, shove, fill. So you're going one and two and three and step, spank, heel, shove, full, heel. Step, spank, heel, shove, full, heel, but it crosses over into the front. So it's almost like you're doing the exact same thing twice, but the second time it crosses in front, the first time it goes out to the side. Step, spank, heel, shove, pull, heel, step, spank, heel, shove, pull, heel. And then you finish that off with toe, heel. Oh, it's toe, heel, toe. So both toes stay crossed. Toe, heel, toe. So let's try that together. Just that. From step, spank, heel, shove, pull, heel, step, spank, heel, shove, pull, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Again. Straight eights. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, eight. Cool, let's try it again. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, eight. Good. From there, you have shuffle, step heel, shuffle, step heel. So out of this toe heel, toe heel, immediately I'm going to move it to here so that I can hit that shuffle step heel and then you finish it off with shuffle shuffle step heel stay. So that last part is shuffle step heel shuffle step heel shuffle shuffle step heel stay. So one shuffle, one shuffle, two shuffles, stay. So let's try that last part, this together and then we'll go back to the drawbacks with the shuffles with the Cincinnati starting on the step. So from shuffle step heel, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. Good. Okay, let's go back to drawbacks with shuffles. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, Yeah? All right, let's try to add it on. If you need to go back over anything, like I said, I'm trying not to spend too much time on this knee, so I have to do this shorter and sweeter. But if you need anything again, you can always rewind this video and go, wait, what did she do? Wait, what did she say? <laughs> so then, usually I repeat a lot more, but I, I can't right now. And yeah, luckily it's a video and you can rewind it. And I love that about YouTube. So let's try adding it on. We got this. It's not going to be perfect, and that's okay. We're just checking it out.
our rhythms were off. Definitely me. All right, let's try it again. Uh, until I like am able to balance perfectly on this left knee, I'm just not putting my weight in the right place. And that's okay. And that if you're having issues with that, that may be the problem. That maybe is that your weight is not correctly in the right place. And maybe because you have a bad knee or a bad angle or something, you're compensating and not realizing it and unlearning a lot. My injury is teaching me so much. All right, let's try it again. This time we're just gonna get a little bit more comfortable with it and maybe like try to figure out how to distribute the weight for that rhythm a little bit better. mistake too it still works just go and cross the toe all right <laughs> let's try that one last time and this time I'm gonna try to get it right but no pressure for any of y'all <laughs> so I would do it three times so that we have time to like really try again and fix a mistake or work something out And then, yeah, so if you're not ready to move on, you know what to do. Meet me back here when you are. All right, so we just did. So your right foot is free. So you have the shuffle, step, the shuffle, step, the shuffle, shuffle, step, the stamp. Your right foot is free. So this next part, you have step, shuffle, hop, ball, change, step. So it's a little bit slower. One and two and three, four. So we're taking out the eighth notes now. One, two, and three. But it's not swap. One and two and three, four. Step, shuffle, hop, ball, change. So you're doing a military time step. Step, shuffle, hop, ball, change. Then you have step, shuffle, jump, toe. Or you can add a pickup. I'm gonna add a grab off to it probably because it is just second nature by now. And I think I meant to do one anyway. So I'm gonna add the grab off, but you do not have to. So it's gonna go one, two, and three, four, five, six, five, a six, and a seven, hold eight, I think. Maybe. <laughs> There's a step after. That's what it is. I just didn't write it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes? So you stamp after. Try it. Step, shuffle, hop, ball, change, step, shuffle, pick up, toe, stamp. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shuffle, cross, heel, heel, toe, toe. So it's a rhythm turn. Shuffle, cross, heel, heel, toe, toe. Right, left, right, left. Five count riff, five count riff. And a one and two and a three and four. So these riffs are swung. They're faster and swung. So this rhythm on this part goes one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One and two. So let's try that all together. Cool? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
exhausting. And I chose to wear a sweater for reasons I can't fathom. But it's a, honestly, it's because it matched my socks, it matched my Halloween socks, and it's cute. So the choices that we make, the decisions we make, y'all. All right, let's do it with music. We got this. This is just us putting it all together, no pressure, just fun. to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the TAP fam. We've got choreography tutorials like this, step tutorials, technique exercises, vlogs, challenges, all kinds of stuff. I even have an entire playlist full of Halloween stuff. So if you're looking for like technique exercises or like little combos to songs, I've got a whole playlist filled with Halloween themed ones, four years worth. So four Halloween seasons worth. Make sure you check that out. And if you're already getting ready for the holidays, I have a holiday playlist filled with tons of like winter themed, Christmas themed, Hanukkah themed, all kinds of different applicable holiday tutorials. So if you're, if you're a dance teacher and you're planning the holiday season or you're like, maybe Halloween's not your thing and you're ready for the Christmas season, head over to that playlist, just have fun. You know, some people, some people just don't like Halloween and you just wanna skip to Christmas. There's nothing wrong with that. I like Halloween but I'm not gonna take someone's joy away from them. Go to Christmas, like, do not pass go, do not collect $200, go straight to Christmas. Although it'd be great if we all collected $200, right? <laughs> all right, so anyway, um, I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up because this was a lot of fun, but also because it helps YouTube know that people love tap dance 
And also, um, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. So subscribe, hit the thumbs up, have a great spooky season. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.